<gasps> what is that? Creepy red line. Ah, trunk gunk. <laughs>episode I took a little detour I'm getting sucked in hell I made some new friends <sighs> Jesus and I did a little off-roading oh we're off-roading oh we have no traction these wheels aren't good for this and now on with the adventure Hmm. Frames don't look awesome, but I'm sure it's fine. All right, what am I? What am I doing now? Break open back room doors with an impact hammer. And pause. I click the paints and decals on the paint shelf. Huh. I think I ended up with a blue paint somewhere in here. button. We need to sign this to a quick slot. There we go. Much better. Can I just say I love this kind of aesthetic of like it's lived in you know it's got stuff laying around it's got wires hanging off of stuff lighting is kind of dark and moody all right get with it fabrication station taking the train to fabrication station all right um scanning antenna that's what i need fabricate I get on the roof. Hmm. Aha. Jesus. Whoa. That was kind of a cool effect. Signals coming through loud and clear. Give it a moment to initialize. Is there fall damage in this game? Maybe not. Okay, get the handbrake from the back locker room storage. I also still need to deposit that uh, um, paint. I think it was in here. That was totally unnecessary. <laughs> well, this must be the paint shelf. Ha. Ah. Break is just chilling in the locker. Hell yeah. Along with a crude panel and a crude bumper. Oh, give me both of those. Oh, fine. Make sure <laughs> to empty your trunk before heading back out. You'll need the space. Yeah, and first things first.
We'll do a little repair work on that. And I think this was the rear bumper, right? Yes. All right, starting to look like a car. Friendly dumpster. You're a real, you're a living thing. What the? F <laughs> um. Okay. Hey, buddy. Good flare. I've hooked up the antenna to the route planner. Give it a look after you're done peeping through my garage. Okay, hang on. Recommended driver's checklist. In your wounds at the first aid station. Use the transfer trunk to unload collected materials. Is there a place I'm specifically supposed to put this, or what? We'll just put it right here. Perfect. Okay. First aid. Headlights are definitely not in good condition. I'm missing one of them. I think the other one is kind of damaged. I should try and repair some stuff. Well, my car's not in super, like, a damaged state right now. <clears throat> Battery jumper. jumper need a nine volt battery one more I guess um new copper wire which I got and electronics hmm. probably have to find that stuff out in the world I need more plastic for another headlight Mm-mm. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, I guess I'm probably about ready then. Great as I can be. I can't make another panel. Can't, right? So I am actually short one? Yeah, just one. And I need more plastic. It's all about the plastic right now. I 
Find your way to town. Okay. Use the screen on the left side of the dashboard to assign abilities. Handbrake, okay. Skid on demand. I see how that works. Have a little, uh, little system there. All right. I don't know if I like A being the handbrake turn, though. That sounds right. I didn't realize I was even on. I just put it in park? There we go. I'm a good driver. Oh, what is this? Oh, I do have music. Volume two. Oh, that's awesome. way into town, huh? Okay, it's kind of... What's this? Always open? I don't think it was. Why are you open now? What's going on in here? Not gonna tell me, huh? Fine. I'll find out on my own later. Is there a map that I have? A route map. Here we go. Damn forest, damn forest, damn forest. Unknown, damn forest. Blistering woods. What's this town that I need to go to? Is that what this is? That's why I got a little thing on it. Wasn't letting me select it. Huge map, but probably a lot to explore and see. Buddies. I wonder why I can't travel to these. Is because they're undiscovered? to do it in this thing oh there's nothing to see okay let's just uh, get to this road here and you're right Just 
went into a huge fucking circle. What am I doing wrong here? How do I get to that freaking main road? Oh, this is gonna be infuriating for anybody watching. Look, it's a full day later after I played this last time. travel to like this place or or that place it looks like i'm supposed to, supposed to hold it down i say to travel it's not freaking doing it this path because I kind of thought this was the path that I came in on when I first got here maybe this is right oh god damn it, it goes underneath the path that I'm, I thought I was supposed to be on son of a bitch There's no path over here. Oh, wait, no. Is there something in there in here that I'm missing? There might be. I like that the music keeps playing despite the fact that I have in fact turned it off. Oh, well, that's right. This was a jukebox as well. Group planner. Ready to make this remnant verification a one and done thing? I'm sending you to visit Colossal Cappy. If that old anomaly doesn't induce electromagnetic resonance in your car, then we're free from Tobias's fever dreams and we can get you out of here. With that antenna fixed, you can now detect stabilized road junctions in the outer zone. You've got a stable route heading straight to Cappy's front door, but the energy readings are off the roof. I advise you not to take the zone lightly. You better gear up or you may not survive the trip. Which would make my life easier, so... Your call. I only understood about, uh... Half of what you just told me. But, uh... Fuck it, we ball. So... Cool, it tells you like the stuff that you'll see in those areas. 
There's a whole bunch of other areas that I have not explored yet. The remnant experiment. So then, f f now that that's like that. Oh, okay. So I select the route and then the path opens up through the garage and then I can continue on. That's the style. That's that's what we're doing. We need the right music though. Perfect. No. Where's the energy? That'll do. This way? Oh, this way. Blue lights, check. Interesting. So you can plot a route, but you can't travel like anywhere and everywhere. And if there's a route on one end, you have to like go through it first. I suppose if it's like undiscovered, which I think I've been here before already. I think that's why it's letting me go this way. But I thought it like collapses behind me when I leave. normally but then every now and then you hear weird voices like that one time it was my fifth grade lunch lady uh, this again uh, you know the sooner i get this out of my system the sooner you can have some peace and quiet <sighs> fine hey had a girl oh boy hey driver listen with all the legends of all the stories that have spawned in the zone <laughs> trust me there are so many the remnants one of the best i'll start from the beginning <clears throat> In 1964, strange objects began appearing throughout the zone. They were, uh, shabby, cast-off things that were imbued with strange properties. Uh, a broken microwave that froze food instead of warming it. A rusty can of paint that produced every color in existence. Always so out of place that people were irresistibly drawn to them. Yeah, you know, like a mysterious car in the forest, right? <sighs> Of course. Alright, so I got a couple anchors here. I don't remember... Anchors are so I can leave, right? And... But I can get multiple ones. God damn, Remnants too, really? Tobias mentioned that the Remnants bind themselves to people, like the cars done with you, and how that led to obsession. These obsessions always started innocently. A, a sudden interest in model train sets or collecting old road signs. The objects themselves would exhibit anomalous properties, but what didn't in the zone, right? That in itself wasn't cause for alarm. But these fixations would only grow worse until its victims could think of nothing else but the remnant. And they always ended with spiraling into madness and disappearing in a mad chase after something. Sorry, driver, it doesn't sound fun, but... Better to know what you're up against. Could the Remnant's victims still be out there somewhere? I mean, we never heard from them again, but it doesn't mean they all died, right? If the madness didn't kill them, then the zone did. <laughs> anyway, it's been 20 years since the last Remnant sighting. 
We thought they were long gone. Until you found the 20 car. years. Jesus. Right. So I got an anchor there. An anchor there. A area I guess I can't go through. Um antenna stuff, other locations and things to see, and then I'm guessing that's where I'm supposed to go. Part three! I'm just getting all this right now. I wonder Bug if it. you're already feeling the remnants effects, Driver. Have you been fixating on the car, maybe? If only we knew where remnants came from. Then we'd have a place to start on how to help you. This is no typical anomaly. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The anomalies we know, they're creepy, crawly, and weird. Like visible manifestations. The remnants were the only ones that wormed its way into your brain. There's something much, much more. Uh. Uh. This just turned into Silent Hill. Okay, let's go look at one of those anchors real quick. I don't want to sit here anymore. Should we go and check out this creepy house, though? Yeah, definitely. Keep her running, of course. Weapon. I'm sure this is a weapon. Hello? Anyone home? That's it. Couple shirts and a road flare. Um, worth? All right, take a left at the fork. A lot of obstacles to dodge in these roads. Right? Okay, less of, less of a left and more of a just don't. Okay. <clears throat> just don't turn. Is this something I can break through like uh, Batman's? Uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see that scene in the Batman when he just drives through one of those giant concrete cylinders. Tourists. Which means the anchor is that way. Excuse me, pardon me, we're uh kind of booty busting here. Excuse us. Oh, the sun's coming out, good. And my headset's dying. Hang on. We'll get through this. Easy peasy. What's up with the red line? My controller is very excited right now. What the fuck's going on out there? Okay, uh, park. Anybody else hear something? Oh, I think I need a free hand for this. Damn it. Uh, I don't want to equip it. I have it equipped. I want to unequip it. Excuse me. Ah! 
<laughs> so geysers don't hurt me. It just sends me. What the fuck is that? Time to go. What was that thing crawling around on the, gr on the ground? Did you see that? Yeah, what's that, uh... That huge green area on my map now? I don't actually remember what the anchors are used for. Oh, all the tourists are gone. They, like, despawned and disappeared. Weird. But I think that's necessary if I want to leave this place. Okay, yeah, gateway. Gateway. What was that? Too close. Okay, well, I don't think I want to go there anyway. Let's turn around and get on with the show. These anchors are important, right? Like, I need them for something. It's not just an exit. It'd be a weird mechanic for an exit. I have to go and collect something and then it opens up a gate. I can't tell if, like, going in and getting these anchors is, like, a dangerous thing or not. Just stuff just seems to happen around them. Like geysers and mannequins and weird tunneling things. More geysers. Excuse me. What the f Ah! Okay, took a bit of damage there. Or a surprise attack from the, uh, Everything. That door is electrocuted now, apparently. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna cruise on. Do I need to repair this thing? So let me guess. If I touch this thing, it's gonna hurt me. Why is this one door electrocuted? Oh, down D equips it. Cool. And my headset just died. Pause. Do a real pause. One time I'm actually supposed to be clicking that button. <laughs> We're back. Okay, it says there's no fix for that. Can't just like rub it with a um, uh, little laundry static sheet thing. Imagine a lot of these episodes to me playing this game is going to be me just trying to get used to the controls and trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go at any given moment and why I have a perpetually electrocuted door. Wow, look at this freaking map. Oh, yeah, it's town. Okay. Drive to the scenic overlook to get a view. 
I'm gonna collect the materials and grab the poison parts, okay. Got more of those anchors. And that's where I'm supposed to go right there. That's that view. God, Sierra. Never wanted to think about this place ever again. Edor Town, Colossal Cappy is smack dab in the middle of where Sierra used to be. You can't miss it. Uh. Okay. That was awesome, but not smart. <laughs> Uh, is there a reason you're driving straight towards the largest honking anomaly in the zone? You wanted to know if there's a speck of remnant energy in that car? This is how you do it. You're Ooh. being happy to amplify the remnant signal. That's insane. <laughs> Driver, are you sure about this? Well, they'll be fine. For like tourists? Fine? Look at those radiation spikes that Colossal Cabby is still giving off after all these years. To achieve any sort of resonance, the driver's going to have to get right up against Cappy. I get you, Francis, but Oppie's got a point. Any remnant energy lingering in the car is too weak to detect with conventional methods. Really? You're gonna take her side? This isn't about sides. It's a good plan. I won't risk someone's life just so we can log another remnant sighting. The driver can make their own decision. I'm not forcing them to do anything. For all I care, they can lay down and wait until the instability takes them. That would get them out of my hair much faster than all of these shenanigans. Damn. This place looks kind of cool, though. I, I, I'm not. Yeah, we're going. Hang on. Can repair putty fix this? This is driving me nuts. I don't think it would, but it is. No. Uh, what if I, ah! Okay. So I can open it, but I can't fucking take it off. I guess I won't be able to fix that until I get back to the garage. Or, or, or it'll just go away on its own the moment I mention the garage. <laughs> All part of the plan. Alright. Uh, driving to town. Excuse us, tourists. What is it? Is it bomb? It's, it's playing hell with my everything. Broken bunny. Hi! Hey, shit, heal! Get off! And stay away! Maybe, maybe it wants me to have the um, game soundtrack for this. Since we're apparently, I get the feeling we're approaching an important plot point. Oh, that always damages you, huh? Doesn't it? Okay, note to self. You stop driving like a dingus. I'm assuming I'm going the right way. Yeah, it looks like it. 
Oh, do I have to do this jump? I mean, I'm already damaged enough. No, I'm not going to do it. I can fit right through here. Right? Ooh, just barely. Uh, get the car close to the anomaly. Okay. Like, how close are we talking? Just right up to it? Alright, right up to it. Things are getting weird. Car is starting to react to this thing. Hello? Now respond. What the fuck is that thing? Maybe you need to get closer to Cappy's core way up there. Can you find a way to high ground? Um drive up to the bridge to get closer to the anomaly. I'm guessing that's that part right there. Sure. Why not? Can't see. Is there... I need to go in through the train tunnel here. Definitely not. What is, uh, it's another one of those weird drone looking things. I don't know if they're dangerous or not. I'm guessing they are. <sighs> I'm fucking sliding all over the place, man. I have no grip whatsoever. And I'm crashing through everything. And I'm getting closer to that thing. You could have told me to get to that high ground before I got all the way down here. How the fuck am I supposed to get up to that bridge? Let's try the other side. Okay, this looks like a proper road. What keeps beeping at me, I wonder? Okay, hang on. I'm gonna make some quick repairs while I have an opportunity. Open up the HUD. Engine bumper's got the most damage on it. And let's get you. And you. Okay, that looks better. And I'm kind of irradiated the moment I stepped out there. Took a little damage on that um, front right fender, but we're gonna be okay. A little low on gas though. That's probably what it's beeping me at for. I think we'll be okay, though. Okay, don't hit the tourists. They fucking explode. Oh, a bunch of warning signs. Uh, you know, I don't care if they explode as long as they don't fucking move. A lot more of those, like, scientific hmm. setups here. Not close enough to Cappy. What now? How about, um, uh, uh, launching the car into Cappy's core? I, 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 I'm sorry. What? It's simple. The driver jumps the car into the heart of the anomaly, and if I time it right, I'll open the gateway and extract them. And if you don't? I've run some calculations. I think it should be fine. Anyway, it's like they always say. Oh. What's an experiment without some risk of total annihilation? Who says that exactly? Yeah, I've heard that. In no way, shape, or form should we be doing this. Well, but you know, if it's the only way, yeah, you got this kit for it. 
Oh, uh, fuck, uh, uh, fuck it, we ball. Okay, um, open the barricade from the control tower. Where the fuck is the control tower? None of these mannequins ever better try some shit. I got putty and I ain't afraid to use it. First, I'm gonna rummage through the garbage. Duct tape, rubber duck. Just what I needed. What the hell is this thing? Transmuter. From gear and food, what? All right. Shut her down. All right, car, we're gonna find out for sure if you're one of these remnants or you're just a car. No matter what, you're more than just a car. I take that back. You're a station wagon. Get a little more heat here. And we floor it. This is as fast as she goes. Oh! Ophelia. Is that you? Hit the brakes! Sorry, friendly garbage can. Hoppy! What the hell was that? Transmission systems. Thought I lost you for a moment. Well, it all worked out, didn't it? The gateway got you out, and it looks like the arc device is still intact with all the data it's recorded from your drive. And my plan worked. Cappy amplified the car signal and it matches. Looks like Tobias and Francis found their remnant after all. Unfortunately, what they've been saying is true. The remnants drive their victims mad. Maybe that car, having sat dormant for this long, will give you a little more time. I'm sorry, I don't have better news for you. I'm still game to get you out of here. The faster you leave, the longer you'll have to enjoy the rest of your sanity. Right. None of the routes you've mapped so far leads to a way out. Why don't you head back out and chart some more? You can get in touch with Tobias and Francis while you're out there. Take another drive. That's my that's my next mission. Just set out somewhere, anywhere. Oh, cool. That's where I get uh, that info. In your wounds at the first aid station. Glad that I get free first aid here. Is it the friendly dumpster? Sorry, I ran into you. You okay, buddy? I guess so. Panels, doors, and bumpers installed. I need one of those still. Headlights in good condition. Nope. Tires in good condition. No. Fuel tank, almost empty. Battery needs to be cha charged. Which I can do that right here. I like this garage, but we could use a little more light in here. Out of curiosity, this, uh, this paint shelf here is this where I can like actually change I've seen anything in here that says oh yeah use this to change the color of your car This 
the battery's still not charged. How many times do I have to do that thing? There we go. Repair car. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need to craft more of that putty. And cut here. So what do I need? I need parts. I need a headlight, which I don't think I have enough parts to do anyway. I'm still missing plastic. I didn't mean to exit out of the whole thing. Still need things like uh, panels and stuff. I don't need a door. I need one more panel. Again, plastic. So that's what we're after here. And I think the best way that I'm going to get all that is probably out on the road, taken apart. You have respawned. You don't have your tires anymore. We have like all your panels again. So this, does this one vehicle just respawn here with new shit all the time? I mean, that's really handy. Is there plastic and all that? Um, doesn't look like it. Steel door. Steel panel.
I might be able to get plastic from that thing. Hang on. Yeah! And electronics. I needed all those things. I think I need to repair this little grinder tool. Craft mat. Scrapper. All right, how do I? Is there something in here that just says repair? Or do I have to actually? Still need another nine volt battery. Still don't quite have enough plastic or anything. I do for another headlight, though. Very nice. You, uh, it's like a lazy, lazy eye. I ripped that from, a, I ripped that from a traffic light, dude. <laughs> okay. I don't see anything in here about repairing. Let me try. God, I keep doing that. Let me try just using like the repair putty. Hmm. If I drop it, then I equip this. Can I? No, I can't. Let's get the tunes going. Dr. Juice! Dr. Juice and Sister Squeeze. Trail and start looting. Hey, E1 is under extreme conditions. Um, 
Let's hit this place here. Fill this can up. Um, nope, I guess not. I can only use this to siphon. a little loud. me on edge constantly can't wait for me to get a freaking flashlight in this game chemicals chemicals pressurized cartridges holy, shit, holy moly are you kidding me right now oh, but you saw it too didn't you tell me you saw it too saw what what do you mean, what? Hallucinations! Like the ones from 1961! It happened again, just a quick blip, like blinking your- Wait, you didn't see it? I was in a total blackout. Colossal Cappy fried my systems. Right, because sending the driver headfirst into Cappy didn't work out like you said it would. Big surprise. Oh, spare me, Francis. The driver's alive and your remnants verified. Isn't that all you wanted? Now, why are you two yapping about the mass hallucination? When Cappy amplified the remnant signal, it triggered another hallucination event. But it only lasted three seconds this time. And, and not only that, we picked up that its source was northwest of us. Specifically... Yeah, somewhere in the deep zone. <sighs> That's impossible. It's been... 40 oh. years. What's that you guys are talking about? Something about deep zone? hallucination wave that triggered we picked up its waveform and, and turns out it's equal and opposite to the remnants waveform they're paired signals it means they're related and, and and what's more if we bring that car to whatever this mass hallucination source is we have a chance of nullifying the remnant and breaking its bond with the driver a simple destructive interference <laughs> this is insane 
After all this time, we find a remnant, a lead on the mass hallucinations of 61, and a possible way to free the driver? Bitch me, Francis, because this is the best thing that's happened in decades. Just when things were getting gold. The remnants. It was a key to the mass hallucination. This whole time. Yes, and you nearly destroyed it. <laughs> I... I need to go. Oh. This is huge, Francis! We have so much work to do! I know. I've already pulled every report on the mass hallucination event. Uh, driver, listen, you stay safe out there. We'll report back to you once we've gone through all of this data. <laughs> There's a lot of it. And, 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 and be careful. Oppie's not in her right mind, okay? So, uh, watch yourself. You don't fucking say. Oh, then what were some of the stuff that I needed to make? Now that I got the plastic, I think I need another panel. I don't need a crude door. I need a panel, and I think, I think that's it. What is that noise? Oh. That sounded like something was like sprinting towards my car. I almost shit myself. I'm not kidding. That sounds like someone's. Okay, do I just let my like stuff break and then I build a new one? Is that how that works? Can I not grab those gas cylinders from inside? And scrapper. Oh, battery jumper. That was the other thing that I needed to make. That's what I needed the batteries for. I guess I don't really need to make anything at this moment. I kind of like just take another drive. Fucking drive where? For what? What do you want me to do? There's an anchor right here in the middle of the road. We can go and snag that, I guess. Oh! Better be careful. I don't want to be running into the tourists. this line represents stability Ooh, the car We definitely got some uh, uh, disturbance going on. I right, siphon fuel. Hey, it does have a little bit of fuel in there. Let me get that uh, tank. Danger, danger, danger. Thanks. There's a little bit of radiation, but not too bad.
Yes, very nice. One full gas can. Oh yeah, there's the thing right there. Nothing to be concerned about. Hand that over. Oh, excuse me. There we go. Oh, is that the uh, that must be the instability is it growing can't tell it does kind of look like it's growing do I need another anchor in order to uh, make a gate a step further into town here looks like it's this the road to my left I think two anchors right next to each other. I need I think I need another one that wasn't there before okay yeah definitely getting bigger Baby, come on, get me up there. Yes, okay, and there's a gate. Pretty close by, I think. I think I need a link with it. Sure, what all we accomplished. I owe you an apology. I screwed up. I nearly got you killed. The things I used to calculate as easily as turning a screwdriver, they're foggy now. The numbers don't work themselves out like they used to. I haven't been myself for a long time, but I haven't needed to be. It's been me and this cursed place I created and nothing else for decades. But now, knowing that whatever caused the mass hallucination is still out there, 
I need to know what it is and why the remnants are connected to it. Francis was right about the remnant and the mass hallucinations paired signals. If we can get them together, maybe they'll cancel each other out and you'll be free. It's a shaky theory at best, but it's the only lead we've got for now. You can do nothing and twiddle your thumbs until that remnant drives you mad. Or, if you're willing to work with me, I'll give you the best chance to survive this thing. Think it through. And fix up your car while you're doing it. You'll need to for whatever you decide from here. <sighs> Are you, you making use of my fabrication station to fix up that junker? You should while I'm still in the mood to allow it. And there's the test track behind the garage. If you need to take anything for a spin. Return to Sir M and unlock some blueprints. Oh, get new crafting blueprints. I actually forgot about it. Friendly dumpster. Thanks for all the supplies, partner. Right. Matter deconstructor. Energy efficient, economical, and probably even ethical. The matter deconstructor will recycle car components in seconds. Do be careful not to get your hand caught in the suspension matrix. Okay, we're gonna need that. We're gonna need that quick. Man, that's a lot to. There's a lot to unlock here. It looks like a lot of it is just like storage, though. Experimental charging station, rapid refill pump, incident board, junction bypass. Ooh, that might be handy. Junction restabilizer. That also might be handy. Well, I guess we can start with this matter deconstructor. What do we need? We need more scrap metal and we need four gears. We're gonna need a lot of scrap metal, which means I'm probably gonna have to take that whole car apart in the, uh, in the front there. Vargas Autovac. What does this do? Uh, did you just suck up the vent, the block? You did. Why did you do that? I felt a little unnecessary. me all the scrap metal you can give and then some okay yeah so I guess once it breaks I don't get a chance to like repair it I just have to make a new one oh man that's gonna cost me oh, that's fine something tells me I'm gonna be using it a lot anyway I might as well Steel sheet. Yeah, let me transfer some stuff.
you, you go in here. Not quite sure why you have a dedicated spot. Now we got two things of blue paint. Sounds like you're gonna be blue. Steel plate, not quite sure what you're useful for, but something tells me it'll be handy. Steel sheet. Broad flat section of this strong, light, and durable metal, ideal for use in panels, doors, and other bodywork. So I'm guessing if I want to make my vehicle look a little less shit, I'm going to need a little finer materials like steel sheets. Got it. Another steel sheet. I think that's all this thing is going to give me. Wait. This printer respawn. Or this computer respawn. Perfect. Oh, it's a back. Oh, it's a radio. God damn, a lot of stuff in this. Uh, in these things that I'm breaking. Copper wire, battery, lots of plastic. That's great. Is the sun ever gonna come out? Okay. Still need the gears, okay. Can this thing make the gears? You can. <laughs> no, it, uh, I guess it can't. Doesn't tell me how many of each I get. Apparently one each. And now I'm short on scrap metal. Is there anything else around here I can break down? Come on, don't make me go out for a drive for like a hand, couple of scrap metals. It's so much work to come back. Does that mean it has a leak or something? Oh, it's loose. Needs a mechanics kit. Okay. What was the other thing that had a problem? In this door. Oh, the glass is cracked. Ceiling kit. To repair those things just right now. If you're ready to do this with me, here's a spot of good news. 
use. We aren't completely helpless when it comes to the instability. Back when the zone was active, we built ways to get where we needed to go. I need you to head back towards Sierra. But don't worry, I won't make you jump into Cappy again. When you're feeling up for it, take the route back to Sierra. I'll tell you what's next once you're there. The mass hallucination. I can't believe it happened again. I can't believe I missed it. I missed it too, if it makes you feel any better. Assuming that this isn't all just one giant hallucination and I'm just tripping balls in the middle of the forest. So my next mission is to head back to Cappy. I want to try and get this going, but I need more scrap metal, which means I need to go out. Um, I can probably get what I'm looking for back at Serum. That was it. We're definitely gonna have to go through uh, E5 here because E4 is unstable. I'm guessing those that the fabricator has the ability to make that. This is too loud. Okay, the volume does not really work on this thing. <laughs> What I can tell is that um, that uh, re-stabilizer thing, the uh, what you call it, the fabricator can make, probably will sometimes be the only way for me to progress forward if an area has been destabilized. All right, we're looking pretty good right now, vehicle health-wise. My health, on the other hand, not so much. Got a couple scratches, a couple boo-boos. Better. So we're gonna head to, I don't think it'll take me. Yeah, I can't get to E1 immediately. I have to pass through E5 first, which actually kind of works out for me because while I'm in E5, I will find myself some extra scrap. I spot a, an abandoned vehicle on the side of the road. That should be perfect. I'll just take it apart and I'll get all the uh, scrap that I need. not one of those things where I have to go and collect a single paint can for every like every part of the vehicle like if I want to paint my hood it takes an entire paint can and I if I want to paint the entire vehicle I need like 10 paint cans okay I see that on a map here I just need to follow this road and take a left I don't think I want to mess with any of the anchors that didn't look like that did anything for me except make trouble so we're gonna push about those anomalies. I don't recommend you spend much time around them. Unless you've got a death wish, in which case, be my guest. When we're all dead and gone and limb technology, but a footnote in the history books, the anomalies will remain. They're the legacy of our work here, and the Olympic Peninsula belongs to them now. I need like a picture book that explains what everything is. I need what what what's the anomalies? Is it just all the weird shit that I see? All right, there's probably some supplies in this building. I can feel it. Got a crate? Oh, me crate. Plastic, rubber. 
exactly what the doctor ordered. If I light this thing, can I just carry it around? I can, yeah. Any mail? Oh, it's sealed up tight. I can't get in there at all. All right, just in case I see a T-Rex, I got what I need to distract it momentarily. Yeah. Forest fire. Only you can cause forest fires. They call me Smokey the Jew. Honestly, what I need is an abandoned vehicle on the side of this road. Hopefully, I'll find one on the way up there. So what we need is scrap metal. Ooh, ask and ye shall receive, maybe? No, looks like it's all stuff is missing. I need a more recently abandoned one. I should have fueled up while I was out there. God, I'm dumb. Hello? Hmm. Sure, it's fine. Oh, a plasma generator. The fuck is out here, man? Hate this place. Nice. I think I'll need that plasma for um, uh, building another sledgehammer, which mine's almost gone. Take this opportunity to transfer some stuff. You. Okay. Open sesame. Computer is perfect. Chemical one thing bag. Crate. Out of crate. Out of crate. I hate that this place just randomly makes noises. In fact, I think I hate that the most about this game. No, that's not true. I like it a lot. Okay, got a rubber duck, some plastic, some scrap metal. Perfect. And what is this? Anomaly encounters number five. Int. Store and fax machine. Interesting. Snag it. See what the. I'll investigate that later. Oh, okay. I can investigate it now. It was pure nonsense at first. They were often garbled, and the ones we could decipher made no sense. The dates were wrong, and they talked about made-up events. Except they weren't made up, you see. It was the gasoline shortage one I remember first, because it was so accurate. We had exactly that shortage two weeks later, down to the gallon. Then there was that lost technician. I thought no one would believe me. But my supervisor and I listened to the one which predicted that Baker boy being dissolved. He was right on time. But after that, as soon as we had them all deciphered, they stopped. Very strange. Very creepy. This place is going insane with the noises. I don't really want to waste my, uh flares just so I can see every time I'm doing something. I know that doesn't make for a super interesting gameplay.
Okay. Okay. Oh shit, this place is totally becoming unstable. Time to go. Ah! Oh! Drive, 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 drive. Go, 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 go. Damn it, I needed that car. That's so unfair. What is this? What is this field of electricity? Well, I gotta pass through it. Fuck it. We ball. Ah, my vehicle doesn't like that at all. I didn't think this area would become unstable just for me being here. Uh. Oh my god! This place is trying to kill me! And now it's Silent Hill. Now Pyramid Head's gonna come out of nowhere. Excuse me, pardon me. I'm probably out of like the super dangerous area. Oh, like the, yeah, okay, the anomaly's totally moved off. Let me, um, let me snag a little bit of scrap metal here. Well, I can do it safely. I promise I'll be quick. Wait, what's inside? Um, uh, I need my crowbar. Ooh, yes, thank you, holy shit. Lots of stuff inside. I'm happy that it seems like gathering most of the basic supplies and things in this world are not going to be super complex or difficult. That'll come in handy. Oh, good. Looks like this place is kind of stabilized. Sorry, just hitting a little bit of the beverage. A beverage, you ask? Uh, it's rain. I'm a big fan of the tropical storm flavor. Is it good for you? No, it's pure poison. But I like the caffeine. It makes me not want to die on the couch. These episodes will probably be a little bit on the longer side because this game seems to be a lot of focused around my exploration and getting stuff. Where we are in the deep zone, like another wall and the entire mid zone for starters. It's not as simple as driving there. We can't control the instability any more than we can control the weather. At the height of Lim R&D, thousands of us lived and worked here in the zone. So we built limb stabilizers to make certain sectors and roads a little more predictable than others. It was the only way we could operate as a live research compound despite the instability. And yes, the same technology that destabilized the landscape in the first place. 
And technology was always a double-edged sword from the beginning. We're going to put those stabilizers to work and clear you a path. The old observation towers surrounding Sierra Morda have a map of the stabilizers in that sector. Mind swinging by and finding one? Sure. <laughs> but as I was saying, uh, these episodes will probably be a little bit on the longer side because there seems to be just a lot to do in this game, a lot to explore, a lot to craft, and because it's going to be so centralized on me crafting stuff, I'll likely be um, just spending more time in the game, you know. Okay, so that's where it wants me to go. Where am I now? Okay. Head down and take a left and then take your first right and you're there. What is that? What's what's going on there? What's going on everywhere? I'm like shaking. I'm sure whatever this is, is totally fine. We're just not even gonna worry about it. This rain is loud as fudge. Take my first left. I seem to have passed it. What left? Oh, it's my right. Don't look at me. Don't, don't look at me. Oh, come on. Don't make me drive through that. Uh, I guess I don't have to and try and go around it. It's all good in the hood. There's that tower she was talking about. All right. The towers are locked up tight. Jesus. Tighten up security protocols. All Jesus. Day, only for one disgruntled employee to program in his name for fun and mess it all up. Anyway, the overload code is 4735. Find that stabilizer map and scan it for me. Uh, oh, boy. I was assigned to clean these towers out every time the guards rotated. And things I saw. Let's just say that keeping watch on Serum day in and day out did not make for a good time. I didn't envy those guards one bit. What am I gonna see? Cool view though. Oh, what was it again? I missed the wasn't paying attention. <laughs> okay, all right, game. Luckily, the game was. All right, all right. Um, stabilizer map. That's probably what I need. Again, what is the purpose of this transmuter? I keep on seeing it. Transmuter. Private field notes. Blah blah blah. Please find attached 
installation plan for these newer compact uh, limb converters, along with my uh, resignation from Arda, effective immediately. It's become the favorite pastime of my peers to gripe about the uh, use of today, but I find myself sentimental. Maybe the next generation will be the ones to right our wrongs. Their bright-eyed, bushy-tailed optimism reminds me of the early days when we thought limb technology's potential limitless. This machine is a step toward that original vision, where limb bridges the gap between the materials given to us and our imaginations. Can somebody please tell me what this thing does? Oh, it's finally stopped raining. The sun's not exactly out, but, uh... Oh yeah, it's coming up. Uh, the pink sun, naturally. All right, stabilizer map. I got it. I'm overlaying the map with the available routes near you. There you go. Found three sector stabilizers that'll do the job. They're not too far, so I've added the location to your route. The access road will lead you straight there once you're ready. This game's got a cool atmosphere. And I'm one of those guys who... <clears throat> I'm one of those guys who prefers things in the daylight rather than at night. Cause I'm scaled. And I also like to see what I'm doing. All right. Way over there. Way over there. I gotta drive through this shit again. Okay. I think I got enough time to get there. Let me take another look at the map here. So, head back down the road I came from, hang a left, and another left, and follow that road all the way down until I hang another left onto an actual road, and then I follow that all the way to my exit. Good enough. I got the gas can if I need to fuel up. Not exactly running on empty just quite yet, but uh, we're not exactly in a great place either. Stop putting shit in my way. Game. Including these fields of electricity. Just, just the ground is just always moving around me. Okay, I hang a left, I think, right? Yes. Music. Creepy red line. Ah! Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, you know me, always staying cool under pressure. I'm going the wrong way, I think. Oh no, no, this is right. Take a left here. I don't know what this confetti swirling thing is, but we're gonna move on. I'm not even gonna investigate. Definitely got a lot of repairing to do when I get back to the garage. Okay, I just follow this road forever, don't I? Okay, good.
What the fuck? Uh, let's go this way. Last time I ran my car through those and uh, it gave me a speed boost. I'm guessing that's what those are all about. I don't even know what this is, but we're driving right through it. Fuck it. Oi. Oi. Oh my god, everything is so damaged on my vehicle right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, car. Just keep pushing on forward. I promise we're almost there. I think. Do I have a flat? That's kind of what it sounds like. I, that might be worth looking at. What was that? Nothing. It's fine. Everything's totally cool. Yeah, look at that. That's definitely flat. Um, I got one more thing at potty. I think I'll use it to fix this flat. I shouldn't have done that. Wait, 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 wait. I think it needs something else. Mechanics kit and ceiling kit. I need both. What's necessary to make both? Uh, let's see here. Mechanics kit, ceiling kit. Can I make both without sacrificing too much? Looks like it. Oh. Okay, I have the mechanics kit, so let's just start fixing some stuff, I guess, while I'm here. Wow, it breaks immediately. All right, so that's kind of a huge waste of resources. I'm not a waste because like, I use it, obviously, but damn, immediately breaks. At least my car has like a lot of storage. It's a beauty of a station wagon. Big trunk space. Actually, I should get out and do some repairs in trunk here. Engine is not too damaged. Bumper is a little bit busted up. I think I got enough repair putty to repair two things, and I think those two things that I should repair is probably my hood and my bumper, since I'm using it as a fucking... <clears throat> since I'm using it as a battering ram. This game is a professional, making sure I'm not left alone with my own thoughts for too long. I'm getting low on fuel. Nope, not what I wanted. Not what I wanted either. Put those back. And give me the can. That fuel can is a lot smaller than I thought it was. I just, I don't know why I thought this was like a full size can. Is that trunk gunk? That's what that's called. It's called the trunk gunk and it's specifically designed to hold <laughs> gas can. Well, you know what? It's got a place and I like it. Trunk gunk, let's use it. Got a lot of gunk in the trunk, yeah. All right, that's a little bit better. 
We're not perfect, but we're ready to continue. Probably end it as soon as we get through to this next area. Oh wait, no, it only saves if I get to the garage. I have to continue on. Is that what that red line means? This fucking giant saw blade? Just a buzz saw that just jump, just rides across? I guess that, that's, that, that is what that red line means. Oh, here's another one. You gonna hit me? Oh, I shouldn't stop right in the middle. I'm crazy. And uh, there's a drone. I don't know what its deal is. Did I aggro it? No idea. Honestly, that thing just looks like a pile of junk floating around. Maybe that's all it's doing. It's just floating around and collecting more junk. Oh, we made it. Maybe. Oh. Oops. All right. Blistering woods. Artisite. It looks like it's going to be relatively safe. A six hour drive. Didn't think the Olympic Peninsula was that that big. Although maybe navigating all the crazy shit on my past would add a lot of time to it, so I guess that makes sense. Okay, stabilizer, art aside, put stream woods out of zone. So this area should be stable. The woods there can be a bit of a maze. If you get <sighs> lost, follow the pipes. The limb tech and those stabilizers ran so damn hot, only more limb tech could contain it from complete meltdown. All right, I gotta, um, God, this is gonna be a, a big quest. <sighs> well, maybe I will stop the video here and then just, we'll, we'll, we'll just pick up after this. I'll just keep going, but I will cut the video off here. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. It's my turn to give you an explanation. God damn it. About the mass hallucination event that Tobias and Francis were going on about. But don't worry, I won't be nearly as long-winded. Thank you, because I'm trying to end. honestly isn't much that we know about it. It happened on the morning of September 14th, 1961. My colleague, Dr. James Kay, was conducting experiments at a highly classified site in the deep zone. He was assisted by my husband, Dr. Alan Turner. At 0400, their experiment unleashed a gamma ray surge that instantly killed both of them. Damn. The surge was an impossible amount of energy, orders of magnitude greater than any man-made source. It also triggered hallucinations in anyone awake within a 10-mile radius. It was a burst of widespread insanity, but only for a short moment. Is that it? Your husband? And some other guy released some gamma rays to everybody and we were all briefly insane, but only for a minute. Thanks. <laughs> Consider all my questions answered. Fuck, you interrupted me for that? I'm trying to end here. All right, whatever. So we'll end here. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.